Yo, what's up everyone? This is VCV Sips. Thank you to everyone for coming through to the stream. Uh, this is a Saturday night stream. Normally on Saturdays we play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. However, tonight is different. We are playing the newest Nintendo Switch exclusive to Nintendo Switch, Brigandine, The Legend of Renersia, a really in-depth strategy RPG, J JRPG to be exact. It is Japanese dubbed exclusively. There is no English dub for this game. It is on the English eShop and every other eShop across the world, but it is only in Japanese dub. If you don't like that, that may be a big reason for you to not want to play this game. However, the dub is actually very good, and we are playing with voice acting on, so, well, game audio on in general. So if the stream crashes, I am sorry. <laughs> if it does tonight, it's because game the game audio is on. Because my CPU does say we're at 100% uh, usage, total. <laughs> Shoutouts to all the 100% click members in the building. Gunslinger, Dio Wilson, Decepticon, and Blanket. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. And shoutouts to the GOAT for coming through as well. I'm glad you got Persona 4 Gold on a PC. I actually haven't played it in like three days. And I've been super busy. Super, super busy. But it's all good. It's all good. And we're not going to use the file I'm using. We're using a brand new game because in Brigadine, The Legend of Renersia, from the beginning of the game, you could choose one of six routes to choose from. Yo. And then I'm I'm pretty sure there's an extra one in the end game. And uh yeah, TH3, this is the newest Nintendo Switch exclusive. It just came out yesterday. And the last time this game had a release was on the PS1, guys. The first game in the series came out on the PS1. This is the second game in the series. So it took over 20 years to come. And yet, Edward, no smash tonight. Brigadine, the legend of Renaissance. And before we start the stream, if you guys can share the stream, I have the link in the chat. Every one of you can retweet it. That would mean a lot. And I mean every single one of you. If y'all could do that, that'd be awesome. Shouts to the 100% click in the building. Let's go. Shouts to Nightshade coming through. What's up, click? What's up, Nightshade? Thank you for coming to the stream. We're playing the brand new Strategy JRPG Brigandine, The Legend of Renersia. Thank you all for coming through. We have 12 concurrent viewers. Let's all smash that like button to 10 likes. And shouts to Almighty Savage Animator. It's great to see you. Welcome to the stream. THV says, I just boot up New Horizons, and Isabel has a glass of Coke and Captain on her desk. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have a new game, though. We're not going to use the, the save file I'm currently using. It's uh, the one from the original demo. I was able to bring that, so. I'm using the same group from that demo. But for this playthrough, we're going to play as a different squad, a different region on the map. And you guys get to hear the video game audio, which is great. And if you guys enjoy the stream, smash the like button. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button. If you want to become a member of the channel, smash the join button or the Patreon link in the description or the donor link in the description too to show support to the channel. 100% click on the build. Let's go. Yeah, I raised the volume of the game audio so you could hear it. And Edward, uh, community stream is next Sunday, not not this Sunday. I do have a new video for this Sunday, though. I knew what's wrong with Edward, so you should probably like that. Shout out to the tank of current viewers. Thank you all for coming to the stream. Shout out to Xenoheart. How you been, bro? Welcome to the stream. 100% click on Xenoheart in the building. Yeah, basically every region across the map has rune knights, and rune knights are people that can summon different kinds of beasts, whether uh, like horsemen or uh, dragons, all kinds of stuff, leviathans, unicorns, and they also have the powers of magic, fighting swords and stuff. It's really dope, this game. Yeah, TSG, I haven't played Animal Crossing in like a month almost. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, it's called Brigandine, the Legend of Rearsia, because there's different items called the Brigandines, which they help him. They, they, they have a special power to them. And they have the power of, like, the higher god in their game. So imagine if someone collected all of those pieces of the Brigandine. Thank you to everyone coming to the stream tonight. Seth John, Dear Wilson, Nightshade, All Mighty Savage Animator, TH3, Gunslinger, Blanket Six, Ever Bishop, uh, everyone here tonight. The GOAT, thank you guys for coming through. I appreciate every single one of you being here. <laughs> All good to Seth and John. <laughs> and there was a book like, like that, that, that basically was torn apart, lost in flames, and it led to the current era. Shout out to the 13th current viewers are playing Brigandine, the Legend of Renercia on the Nintendo Switch. So you could choose one of the paths that comes with the Brigandine, and there's a sixth one that doesn't have a Brigandine at all. Yeah, the book itself is what the Legend of Renercia is. And the Brigandines are the different items that each region has that can give them power for the each specific room night. My Savage Angel says, I've never been on your streams before, VC. It's also finally uh, show up. Yeah, thank you for coming through. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be honest. We usually just have really chill streams. Like, there's times where I'm, I'm a little more hyped up, but tonight it's one of those streams where we're just mostly hanging out, uh, relaxing, playing some new games on the Switch. And this is year 781. And the way the game works is that it's based on seasons. So depending on how many seasons there are is how much time you have. And uh, in my current playthrough, I'm playing as the Norzalio Kingdom. So we're not playing as this kingdom uh, today. The next kingdom is the Republic of Guimil. And I was considering playing as them, but I'm not sure yet. And TH3, you, you don't roast me at all you, you your roasting is like not even 90 degrees like get out of here dh3 <laughs> roast my ass yeah okay all right shinobi tribe shinobi tribe is pretty cool uh what i like both most in this game is the art style of the characters the art style of the characters is great exactly blanket tc trash <laughs> then we have the holy gustava empire uh these guys are dicks that's all i know <laughs> uh then we have the mana salisa theocracy uh, from what I know of, from when I played the demo, these guys have very strong mana abilities. And every time you select an area, you can see their stats and stuff. But, uh, I already was planning on using this group. The United Islands of Morelva. I'm, like, positive they don't have one of the Brigandines, and I feel like that'd be a fun way to play. And besides, what I was thinking also is anytime I play Brigandine on stream, I use this save file whenever I'm streaming. And then I use my other save file, which is in the Norzalio Kingdom, to uh, just play by myself and beat down on my own time. So we're going to play the United Islands of Morelva. That's going to be Irish Nation. Oh, actually I almost pressed the B button. <laughs> and uh, as you tell when you check uh, what their nation is, it tells you a bit about the main descendant, the ruler. And it also tells you how many bases you have, and your mana reserve, the total monsters you have accumulated in your region, and also how many knights you have. And all that definitely matters. You want to try and accumulate them all in one area, and then try to go into battles with people. And shout out to everyone coming through with the emotes, the 100% click emotes. If you want to be a member of our community, hit that join button next to the subscribe button to get 8 fire emotes. You get a badge next to your name bonus content and you join our exclusive discord where we have exclusive discord live streams we streamed under hero earlier today it was a lot of fun so if that interests you and even some giveaways check out that join button i would really appreciate it thank you 
Tichi says, my roast is 180 degrees because it's straight to the point. Uh, the, I don't think that's how it works, bro. 180 degrees is that way. You mean, you mean, you mean 360. That's what you mean, Nightshade. <laughs> I mean, not, not, not Nightshade. That's what you mean, TH3. TH3, 180 degrees means a line. You know that, right? <laughs> 360 is a... Forget it. <laughs> but Nightshade did say, was about to say, don't let that roast go 360. <laughs> and Blanket6 with the $20 Triple Moon combo emote, and Dior and Nightshade with the laughing Yusuke emotes. <laughs> the Setter John with the laughing K rule, and Gunslinger with the join. And, and yes, TH3, obviously G 360 is a circle, and obviously 180 is a line, but you're saying 180 degrees because it's straight to the point, but no, a point is a point, bruh. T3, go back to geometry class. All right, United Islands of Morelva, let's go. All right, and my character's name is Stella Hammond. She's the captain of the pirates. Because basically, the United Islands of Morelva is basically an entire island inhabited by pirates. Well, islands inhabited by pi pirates. And we can play on normal, hard, or suitable. I think we should do normal. For this playthrough, I think you should do normal. And it's very possible to lose the game and you have to redo everything. This is one of those games where that can happen. I think we'll do normal. Give us a little extra challenge. So this is going to be tough. Uh, skip the guide, yeah. So, there's also cutscenes, like visual novel style. Like AI Somnia Files, Phoenix Wright. So there's cutscenes like that in this game too, which are dope. I like that a lot. So... And also, like, Persona's visual cutscenes, too. So, it's kind of like that in this game as well. So, there's that, combined with the strategy, JRPG stuff. And also, like, there's t there's different turns. There's an attack turn and a stationary turn. There's a lot of stuff in this game. There's no actual hub world, technically, though. And, yeah, the art style is very dope for all the characters. All the characters have a super dope art style. The United Islands of Morelva is a federation of seven small islands. Once every three years, people all across the archipelago celebrates Min Salunga. Tonight was the eve of the big event, so everyone was enjoying themselves. The island's chairman's position is rotated between the leaders of the seven islands. And tomorrow, the symbol of the islands, the brigand... Also, the islands do have a brigandine. So I don't know what island or place it is doesn't have a brigandine. So this one has one. The brigandine of Ego will be making its way to a new leader. And I'll be honest, guys, this is like the main route I'm most hyped to play, so you guys get to experience it for the first time with me. And we got uh, Pluto, looks like a magic user. Uh, and yeah, we have, the, we have it, the game's in Japanese dub only, so yeah. His name is uh, Pluto. And there's us, Stella. <laughs> she's like, ew, octopus, yuck. And she's drunk too. <laughs> Are you hitting the bottle a little too hard? <laughs> Damn. I got just drinking. いい<笑><笑><笑> pirates all right. Yeah, it's a non damn Stella. She's just, I'm calling you a liar because you're lying. I hope you guys can hear everything good and see the video game quality good. Because my CPU has the game audio going, it says 100% CPU usage. I hope the stream doesn't die, but we'll see. It worked great yesterday, so we'll find out. Hold that tongue of yours. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, 
Edward says, give me emotes. Uh, emotes is on YouTube, Edward. Uh, it's, a, it's a YouTube thing. <laughs> she beat the shit out of the guy. She beat the shit out of the guy with the pot. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't how the route's going in uh, the other region, in the Rosalio region. I'll just say that. This is funny. <laughs> A brawl ensued, but it was over just as quick as it begun with the former pirate on the floor at Stella's feet. Now she wants more booze. <laughs> Shout out to the 10 current viewers. Thank you all for watching the stream. We'll be streaming for about two hours tonight. Uh, should be great. Now I have to drink some rum. <laughs> That's how I feel too. If I ever have to work a lot, gotta relax in some way or shape or form. Whether take a nap or something. <laughs> it was no surprise that Stella had been forced to work a long day. Pirates had nearly stolen the Brigadine of Ego that was being brought over from a neighboring island for Min Salunga. Oh, so we just stole the Brigadine of Ego. We just stole it. That's pretty funny. Give him to Oh, so this must be a, 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 I assume this is a throwback. I assume that's what this scene is right here. But shout outs to Aron, 100% click member Aron in the building. Welcome to the stream, bro. How you been, man? What's good? And you say the deal- how does the DLC keep getting better? People beat the DLC in 40 minutes, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know how it can keep getting better, but... Especially if you collect 151 diglets and you win a diglet for it, like, come on. That- that's a little... not fair, but... We're in range, Pluto. Give him the two or three shots from the big cannon. Yeah, this is a flashback. How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Shouts to Auron, Gunslinger, Nightshade, uh, Everett Bishop, TH3, Dior Wilson. Everyone watching the stream tonight, thank you all so much for being here. We're playing the newest Switch exclusive that you all must pick up. Bring in Dean the Legend of Runercia. If you like Fire Emblem of your houses, if you like games that are like visual novel kind of styles like with, with, for like parts like these uh if, if you like things that are japanese dub if you like games kind of like risk if you like all those all that kind of stuff combined together that's what this is t street pokemon sword is not actually good now <laughs> uh crown tundra has that at least released for me to even like consider it and even then that's still not even possible but they were fools for thinking they could pull a job here in morelva Damn, look at this cut, look at this. Did the lighting and everything? I like that picture. How they got the lighting going on? That's pretty lit. Nightshade, it takes longer than 40 minutes. Oh, that person must not have fully completed it. Hey, they got that little uh, Brigadine of Ego, and now they're drinking, celebrating. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like you guys like oh play Pokemon Isle of Armor. It's it's worth playing. I have other games to play, guys. I'm too busy, especially with Bloodstained Curse of the Moon coming out. And then I also I just got Ace Combat 7. And then I also have to get Paper Mario Origami King and Ghost of Tsushima and Deadly Premonition 2. And I have six or more routes to play in this game combined with finishing up Future Connected and also playing Under Hero to just start it and still playing Persona 4 Golden. I'm sorry. I'm too busy. And then also having to play Mario Kart and Splatoon and Clubhouse games. Like, there's there's a lot of games that I play, guys. Like, whatever we have to play on streams, like, I have to play that, those games, too. And we're playing Smash Bros. on Monday. There's a lot I'm playing, guys. Pokemon just... They, the online in Ace Combat 7 is better than the online in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, 
かさ今日から見れる場所と連邦の代表議長はパパのギニアム・ハーメットが務めることになるんだ昨日お宅の船を襲った連中のことをもっと詳しく知ってもらえるのかな ?Oh, of course I know no Pokemon. It's all I've been p l a I just know for a fact that the Isle of Armor DLC is not good and not what I'm looking for. It's not. Crown. Hold on, we can agree. Crown Tundra is what actually looks dope. Crown Tundra actually looks lit. But Isle of Armor, still, after everything I've even seen on it, does not look fun. Does not look fun at all. Looks like a waste of my time and my Switch battery, if I'm being honest, from everything I've seen. And yes, I know you gain Pokemon and different abilities from collecting the Diglets and stuff. I understand that for the hidden abilities, but that's. Okay. <laughs> nah, it's not, nothing that crazy, though. Nidia here says ex excuses. Nah, and t i s u says excuses. Nah, those, those ain't excuses. I have better games on my plate. Newer games on my plate, too. So. Y'all really defending Isle of Armor for your lives. Shout out to Greg56. Welcome to the stream, bro. How you been, man? Actually, I agree as well, but they should have done both at the same time because it's causing their pointless divide. Well, it's causing a pointless divide because all the good stuff is in Crown Tundra DLC. Most of the Pokemon I like, I still can't even transfer, guys. Like, come on. <laughs> I posted a picture like two weeks ago, whenever that Isle of Armor DLC released, and I showed the Pokemon that were in my box sitting there, still not being able to transfer. It's like, come on. How am I supposed to enjoy a game where I still can't play as or use any of my Pokemon that I enjoyed most from the prior games? Like, nah. I need them all back. And better is subjective. Nah. Not in my case. In my case, better is perspective, not subjective. I'll just say that. <laughs> And th that's when everyone just says then bars. <laughs> Shout out to Chupacabra. Welcome to the stream, bro. It's great to see you. How you been? Shout out to Chupacabra, St. Lou. Welcome to the stream, St. Lou. Greg56, Aron, TH3, Nindy Gamer, Nightshade. Thank you all for coming through. I appreciate it. And what are my thoughts on the Undertaker retiring? Personally, I kind of wish that he retired、uh, a few years ago. But it's great that he did retire, and that, that match he had at WrestleMania 36, I know it wasn't a real match, obviously. obviously. It, was a fun, it was like a fun little thing, but it was funny, it was good, it was great. Nah, t h 3 How about you watch my video, What's Wrong with Opinions? Maybe what you guys are saying are opinions instead. Just because everyone's agreeing on something doesn't mean it's facts. I'll just say that. <laughs> Shout out to the 15 concurrent viewers. Thank you all for coming to the stream. 100% click in the building. We can't have any of those anymore. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And St. Lou says, Our armor is not terrible. It's not the best either. Thank you, St. Lou. <laughs> And. Deadass facts. Undertaker always retires St. Lou and comes back. But hey, I think this time he's actually sailing off this time. <laughs> yeah, they're all talking about how、uh, they're probably going to end up being attacked by one of the nearby nations and taken over at some point for the Brigadine. Oh, so we're gonna strike someone first. <laughs> yeah, Greg, it's good that he didn't retire after、uh, 33. That would be horrible. And T3, opinions are bad, except for mine. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you think, bro.
If you guys enjoyed the stream, please smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and the notification bell, and also consider the dono link and or the Patreon and YouTube membership links in the description to support the channel if you've enjoyed the content. We have a brand new video that I dropped on Wednesday. Another brand new video I just dropped yesterday. Then we have a brand new video dropping tomorrow talking about what's wrong with cancel culture. Then we have a brand new video dropping on Monday, 30 hours into Persona for a Golden. So that's going to be dope. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have a new video. And then on Friday, we're going to have another new video. And then that Sunday, another new video. We're going to be on a roll coming up. So I hope you guys are ready and hyped for everything that's going to be on the way. Uh, we're working on some of the stuff tomorrow, too. And dropping that video, What's Wrong with Cancel Culture. And the video is definitely going to be pretty dope. Uh, basically, I talk about how a lot of... It happened when I edited the video. We're not talking about Dr. Disrespect. Because he technically isn't... Well, technically he is canceled because he's not on Twitch. But that's not what, what the video is about. It's about a bunch of different stuff. Uh, about cancel culture and how it can be toxic. But at the same time, there are moments where people deserve to either have a chance to learn from their mistakes. And then there's times where if they clearly have done something just as recently as a week ago or yesterday, they have no time to learn their mistakes, in my opinion. They, they deserve to understand and be, be reprimanded for sure. Ho holy, and be punished for some of the things. That pe like, some people have done some horrible shit and they deserve to be punished. Like, that's why I went my point at in that video. But I also mentioned that if they have done something, let's say, a decade ago and it gets uncovered and they clearly have changed and are a different person, then let them be able to explain themselves and have a chance. That's basically what the video is all about. And shout out Stinky, one of John, welcome to the stream and smashing the like button, and I appreciate it. And Aaron says, we should do a Pokemon collab. Hey, uh, I'd, I'd be down, but what kind of Pokemon collab would you be interested in doing? What kind of thing would you want to do? And Ever Bishop says, I thought you were only doing Sunday videos. Uh, well, yeah. It, it, it is primarily Sunday videos, but there is also other forms of content that I've made. And since it's already finished being filmed, most of them, I'm just going to upload them. I'm not going to save them for like weeks in advance. I'd rather just upload them. So that's why we have a few extra releases throughout the week for the next few weeks, which is nice. You guys are getting a lot of extra content. But yeah, all right. Uh, you, it's got to be sponsored. Uh, I forgot to mention that part. <laughs> ミラバドよし。そんじゃキャプテンは。ね。お前は本の地味の頃で知らんだろうが、好きに泳がす方が帰ってや。ああ、シースクボツ。<笑> I have a question. When do you stream Smash Bros? Uh, thank you, Savage Animator. Usually, right now on Saturdays, I would stream Smash Bros. But tonight, I had to stream Brigandine, The Legend of Renersia, because the game just released. And I didn't get to play it yesterday because we had a bonus live stream we had to do yesterday for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So, usually, I would really play the brand new game on a Friday if it releases on a Friday. Uh, but most of the time on Fridays, they're for bonus streams, most of the time. <laughs> Ever, we don't want to see you that much. Damn, Edward. Yeah, T3. Damn. Now, our, our group set out on their own to conquer Renersia. Nice. Ours is just going ham. Shout out to Fnatic JD. Welcome to the stream. These pictures are, like, this art design, like, this looks great. Look at the art style, guys. Like, looks great. We get that extra content on like Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hell yeah. Screw that. Ooh, organization face. Let's go. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, looks like this still this is where we're gonna probably have to go. Oh, we have all this stuff. We have So we can we can oh we have Oh, this little area looks very dangerous over here. They have three regions like right next to each other. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh, there's three regions over here too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Red region's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Red region's this whole thing. It's like almost as big as the other side. Okay. So let's get started. Let's let, let's move some 
uh, members to another area. Who do we got here? Okay, no. Who do we got here? Uh, we're, we're, I guess the main squad's right here. Yeah, main squad's right here. So we're gonna be moving the main squad. We're gonna try and move the main squad all into one area over in port side. And then after that, we're gonna go into Fistilis and take that take out those guys. Nightshade, cancel culture is the most childish thing to come out in 2020. You know what's the most childish part, Nightshade? At one point in time, cancel culture was actually an, a, an acknowledgeable thing in one small regard whenever people were actually in a higher form of power and they actually were pro like proven to have done horrible things to people, deserve to be canceled. 100%. But like the way it is nowadays, it's a trend nowadays. It's a trend to try and cancel people over anything. A tweet that you could have liked from 10 years ago that wasn't even a bad tweet could be taken out of context and then you could be looked at like you're the villain even though you didn't do anything. Like that's the issue of cancel culture and I talk about that specifically in my video just like that. So yeah, and cancel culture, yeah exactly, 2017, 2016, 2017, cancel culture been around, yeah. And Auron, yeah, I got myself that huge power of zoom roll. I think I got two of them, actually. Uh, let's go and move some of these troops. Command troops to move. Actually, let's let's see what, what we got going on. Alright. Now, for those who have never seen Brigadine... This, there's the organization phase, and then there's an attack phase. And of course, at certain times, you can't do anything in the attack phase, because you clearly have no one to attack with. But, uh, this is a phase where you get your monsters together that you want your characters to summon, and all that good stuff. Looks like our units, uh, we have a bunch of them. And you can have different equipment to equip to your monsters and or to yourself. There's also items in your inventory, your units class, you can level up your classes too in this game. Like, there's a lot. And you can change the names of all your monsters or release them from your services. So there's a lot here. There's a lot here. We currently have nothing else on standby, but I do want to transfer some monsters to this, these three. Oh, we got, we got a robot? Wow, that's kind of cool. We have a robot on our team. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna move Siren. I think Siren has healing abilities, if I'm correct. Magic cost 50, water terrain. Yeah, you know what? We should probably put her on the team because there's a lot of water areas, so. Yeah, she's Aqua Thrust, Lore Song, and she also has Maelstrom. Uh, deals massive damage to all units in water within a two hex radius. Then she also has frost monitor damage single enemy unit within three hex. Ooh, nice. And spell break and resist. And that's actually not bad. Okay, dope. What flight's a good ability? You know what? We're gonna put her on his team. Hell yeah! There you go. Now this thing's level one. I don't know why this thing's level one. We we need to move that. I want to switch that with one of these. They're, they're light power. They're, in, in this game, there's, there's also typings. There's typings and terrain advantages in this game. Terrain advantages are a big importance in the game because you can't hit certain enemies at certain parts. of the, Like, depending on if they're a flying enemy and you're a certain type of uh, ground-based enemy, certain ones can't hit flying enemies. Flying enemies, in general, are pretty OP, in my personal opinion, at the moment. But we'll see as we play. We'll see how it goes. But... Things are looking kind of good. I think I need a... Not a huge fan of Lizard Man, but maybe we need Swamp. Maybe we need that. And Troop Cop says, never seen this game. Looks up my alley. Yeah, bro. Uh, for those who don't know, Brigandine, The Legend of Renesia is a brand new Nintendo Switch exclusive that is the sequel to the PlayStation 1 game, Brigandine, The Legend of Forsenna. And it's a super dope strategy RPG that plays like Fire Emblem Three Houses, it plays like Risk, and it also has uh, visual novel-esque cutscenes kind of like Phoenix Wright, uh, an AI Somnium file style, it, and, and, and also like uh, Fire Emblem and Persona with the cutscenes. It's dope, it's great. And also the voice acting is entirely Japanese dub, so that could be a, a con for some people. Me personally, that's not a problem. The gameplay is very fun for me. I enjoy it a lot. However, why do these have four on their squads? I don't know why these have four, but 
We're just gonna, oh, that, oh yeah, by the way, you have a magic pool, so you only can hold a certain amount of, uh, characters, so. If I see anything that costs 50, I'll, I'll throw that, or 40. Uh, yo, you know what, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna take this guy, too. 60, ah, oh, 60, though. Mm. We can make this work, we can make this work. We'll do that. Then we'll do that. Ah, oh, see the... <sighs> Shit, we're still we're still down a few points. I'm trying to make it so my team has a great squad. So 137. I want to add two people to the squad, if possible. If I can add two to his squad, that'd be great. 137. So, see, that... These cost 80. You can't put those there. So, well, this guy's level 7. We'll move him over. And then we have 97 points. Now we can bring one of those big ones if I wanted to, but I think I'd rather bring another elemental. And then I think I have more room for another. This, this is all part of the game. It, it, it's important. The organization phase is mandatory in order to be successful in this game. You need to strategize. Make sure you're prepared. It's one of those games you gotta take your time in your organization phase. But shout out to the 16 concurrent viewers. Edward Bishop, Nightshade, uh, Gunslinger. Uh, thank you guys for coming through as well as TH3, Chupacabra, St. Lou, Aron. Thank you everyone for coming through. I appreciate it. Aron, you whack. <laughs> uh, you downloaded it, but I haven't started yet. VC said tons of content in demo alone. Yeah, in the demo, there's minimum, bare minimum, 10 hours of possible content you could play through in that demo. Because in the demo, you can play in any direction when you start the game in the demo. So by that logic alone, you have so much time that you can play in. And you're able to utilize turns to your benefit to extend how long you play in that save file as well, which is great. Yeah, and yeah, it's definitely blowing the whole thing out of proportion, I achieved when it comes to cancel culture. Facts. I think we got the whole squad ready. I think I can add another one on this team, though. 67 points. We're gonna put the... Imps aren't that strong, but they're good for uh, debuffing. Imps are very good characters to debuff enemies, but they're also in the sky, which helps as well. That's why their, uh, their d defense is, is good, but it's not the best overall. There is better defense in the game. Uh, there's golems in the game. There's leviathans. There's elementals, there's lizard men, sirens, wyverns, giant snakes, uh, tons of different stuff in this game, guys. Like, there's goblins. Let's look at the equipment. Do we have any equipment? I know the game just started, so we probably don't, so. Oh, blazing axe. Oh, he has an item. Uh, this guy, Guinea, has an item. Does she have an item? She has the light sword, ego brig. Oh, so she holds the brigadine. Of course she does. Wisdom. Alright, dope. I think we're ready. Uh, we're gonna save the game. If I can save the game, that would be great. So we're gonna put this into the third save file, just so I don't actually save or overwrite the other save file. So... Alright, so we're gonna transfer troops. Move troops. Uh, we, just, we need to select all the troops I wanna move. Are we gonna select all of them? No, we need to keep we need to keep a few here. We're gonna keep these three here. I'd rather keep them here, so. Yeah, you know what? We'll keep these two here. How about that? We'll keep these two here and that's it. We'll bring this guy. Now they're ready to move. We're gonna move them to Belutza. All right. Now, we're gonna do some quests. Uh, let's go over here, get some quests in. Uh, quests. We're gonna send these two to the training grounds to gain some XP. Oh no, you know what? They seem to have a decent chance in these. They have a half percent chance. Or should I move them? You know what? That's what I should do with these guys. I should move them over. Ah, oh, that's what we'll do. 
We'll move these guys over to here. And then, what are we gonna do next? So there's a lot of things you can do to spend your turns. Uh, we'll, you know what, we should leave these guys here for now. Because they're in some pretty crucial areas right there, right next to two regions. So, I think we're good. This little area doesn't have anything in it, but it's fine. It's pretty safe. It can't get attacked by this region, so. I think we're good. I think we're good with this turn. I think. Let me, let me see. What do we got over here? We have... Okay. Edward with disease. Bruh, this is the organization phase. It's part of the gameplay. This is how it is. Shout out to the 17 concurrent viewers. Hope you guys are enjoying Brigadine, the Legend of Renercia. Uh, let's see what we got here. Well, we don't have anything there. And uh, as you guys can see, we have 727 for our mana reserves. It's year 781, and it's season 1 out of 24 seasons. So. And for each little location, you can check the battlefield's minimap. Each little section has a battlefield of its own. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, Nightshade, this game, it's pretty in-depth. Pretty in-depth, to say the least. And Fury Tiger says, kill something. Oh, let's go. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. The organization phase takes a bit. It does. It's how the game works. Uh, like I said, it has those risk. The video game risk has those kinds of aspects to it. So, I think we're ready for the end phase. Yes. We don't have to enter attack phase yet anyway. We have to. I want to try and get all my troops to one area. So, we still have to take another turn to move them all over. So... See, this section says it's 74,000. 7,400, what am I saying? 7,400. So we need more troops over here because it says this CP is stronger. So definitely can't fight over there yet. And so we should probably uh, go to the next turn, I believe. Because we can't do anything yet. We have base info, summon info. Yeah. Let's see all the stats. So it's just them. It's just them still. Okay. Captain Stella, Umi Maru ga tekikoku no jiohou wo seiri shita node kiite kure. Huh? Gorakuta no yose atsume da. And how you been tonight, Fury Tiger? Welcome to the stream, bro. It's great to see you, man. How you been? Edward says, I'll be back in an hour. It's not going to take an hour. It's, it's going to be done in like 15 minutes. <laughs> Captain Stella is making fun of Umimaru, calling him a pack of junk, a pile of junk. And Troy says, just here for cameo. Spending my Sunday with your fiance and mom today. Have a great stream. Thank you, Troy. I appreciate it. Time for the next organization phase. Now, see, we have more mana reserves now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and move everyone here. Over here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna send these guys on some quests. I probably could do that last turn, but we're gonna have them do the Ruins of Narm. And then maybe we'll send all these people out on some quests too, then. The Aria Great Plains. Dope. Alright, we got them doing that, right? I think we did. I think we got them all in. At least I thought we did. Yeah, I was pretty sure we did. Okay, we got them. So I think we're already done with this organization phase. So. And we have these guys leveling up, grinding. So I think we're ready to go to the actual uh, attack phase for coming up soon. Shout out to the 15 concurrent viewers. Yeah, Chupa, it's the prep time. Prep time, bro. <laughs> and 
And yeah, this game is physical, but it's physical for $120. I recommend just getting it digitally. <laughs> and I'm glad you're downloading the game, Fury Tiger. Thank you so much. Uh, this game is really dope. The, the prep time is worth it, because when you're in battle, it takes about a half hour to an hour, just like three houses, to go through the battles. Especially if you're in the normal or harder difficulties. So, it's not an easy game. And, it, and you have a time limit, too. So, it can be challenging, but it's fun, and I love the voice acting. But I think we're ready to end the phase, so... We still can't attack anyone yet, though, so we have to go through this really quick. I feel like it tells us to attack here, but it's obviously our own base, so we're obviously not going to attack. Oh no, you know what? We can attack this turn. We can attack this turn. Hold up. That's lit. That's lit. We can, we can fight right now. Yo, you guys ready? Let's go. Nightshade, why 120 physical? Because <laughs> the first game came out on the PlayStation 1, guys. <laughs> this is the second game in the series, and the series is so rare you can barely find it in a Google search. I'm telling you guys this because for my own video I had to make of my five exclusive Switch games coming soon, it was hard to look stuff up from the past even on YouTube, like video clips of the game. It's hard for you to find it for Brigadeen the Legend of Forsenna. That's the original first game in the series. It's hard to even find that online. Like, you could find it, but like, the amount of stuff you find on it, slim to none. But it, the original was a dope game, and that's why people were so hyped for this. That's why on the Spawncast tonight, I asked them, and uh, Spawnwave knew about it, Stealth, Stealth picked it up, uh, and OJ's picking up soon too, so. But now we're doing the attack phase, so. We should be ready to attack, so. Nightshade, might just keep playing the demo. Hey, do what you gotta do, bro. Do what you gotta do. And oh, instead of news game. Like, yeah, okay, my ass. <laughs> Better hope the opponent doesn't have evenly matched. Oh, I know what you mean. Let's look at their troop information. We have the Temple Knight, level 10, level 5. Oh, we, we, we should be able to crush... Oh, whoa. Well, she has a Pegasus. Pegasus is pretty good. And she also has an Archangel. Archangel. Let's go and attack him. Why? Oh! We can't use these guys yet because they're they're moving there right now. We can still only use these guys. So we have to wait a turn. We still have to wait a turn. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Gotta do what you gotta do. But, uh... Yeah. Let's look at our quest results. Hey! Got, got, some, new, got some new fine mail. Nice. Command Helm. Oh, Ratka and Vidgo failed? Wow. I gotta be honest. I played as uh, the group, the Norzalio Kingdom. I've never seen anyone actually fail their quest. What? But I hope they didn't die. <laughs> what is this? I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I'm shocked. Like, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> yeah, I think they lost CP. I'm pretty sure they lost CP from that. Let's look. I'm not sure. No, they're, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Gunslinger says, for 20, you can get Paper Mario and Ghost of Tsushima. Exactly. And both physical, too. <laughs> Alright, let's have these guys level up. Let's, let's just have everyone do XP grinding. How about that? How about that? I guess they're not like the the, the Nerzalio Kingdom that they're able to do quests. These guys are pirates after all. Uh, they have three, three. You know what? I think they can do this. I think they can do this. I'll let them have the chance. I think if they ever have two a two out of four chance, they can't do it. So we'll have them go for that quest. Uh, these guys, they they shouldn't be fucking up quests. So they're gonna all train. Yeah, they're all training. They need it. So now this turn we're gonna finally fight, so. Nightshade. 
Night Chase says, y'all think Tales of Arise will debut on Switch as well? Oh, hell nah. It's gonna be on PlayStation, Xbox, way, and PC way before the Switch. Like, at least a year before the Switch. By the time Tales of Arise comes with the Switch, we're gonna have the Switch 2 or Switch Pro. And it's gonna be like 2022. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna save the game. Now we can select everyone and use everyone to attack. Yo, we're gonna crush him. If I'm gonna actually use six characters, I've never used six characters, that's lit. All right. Yeah, we already have them attacking. Then uh, these guys are chilling. Uh, if I could have, I, maybe I should have considered bringing one over here, maybe, not sure. I think we're all good. Yeah, we're all good. Nothing to worry about. We're gonna start this fight. If you guys are ready, we're at almost an hour into the stream, and we're about to start the battle phase. If you guys are ready for some Brigadier Legend of Runercia action, smash that like button, I appreciate it. Xenor says, y'all are lucky this is only the second Tales game to ever come to Xbox. That's true, that's so true. Shout out to the 15 current viewers. We're about to start. So. Time to begin the invasion. Let's go. They ain't ready for this. They ain't ready. For Did they change their squad? They changed their squad that whole t Bruh. That guy wasn't there before. That's wild. Like that, that guy was not there before. Alright, let's do this. Hope you guys are ready for this strategy JRPG action gameplay. And there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. The terrain you're on, what characters you're using, type advantages, all that stuff matters. And yup, it's battle time. And uh, each each location on the map, like each of those little castles, they each have their own map. So like this is their own map. And it goes in a hexagon style. So. We're gonna deploy, deploy, deploy. All right, so we'll deploy them three, it's no problem. And each of your rune knights has multiple uh, beings that they can summon. Arn says, BC bag get bopped. Hey, we are playing in normal mode, so I'm not sure. I think we played normal mode in the demo. Desert John says, when do you throw the Pokeball? Nah, you don't gotta throw the Pokeball. <laughs> you don't have to do that in this game. And uh, most likely, after we finish this battle, we'll be wrapping up the stream. That's how long the battle's gonna probably take, guys. So, I hope you guys are ready for some dope action. of the Mana Cilicia Theocracy. Alright, let's go. Let's get started. And uh, you have to move the characters, make sure that they're all uh, in the right spots, to make sure they're ready for battle. And also, I, I always try my best to cover my room knights and use my summons as most as possible in battle. Also, it's turn by turn, and if you look on the right of the screen, it shows you uh, 
wh whose turn is it in what order. So. Oh. And each one has a different area that they're best at. Like, the terrain for uh, the imp is in the sky. But he's also not strong, so... I'm gonna keep him towards the back, behind him. Then we got... Uh, the lizard man prefers the swamp. Uh, we don't have a swamp nearby, but we'll put him in front of the main guy. He's not that important. And you have to move each of your uh, characters. And each one has specific attacks and skills. Like, for example, this one has a float charge attack, which is a normal attack, which is within a one hex radius. And then there's a prism shot. El Chupacaba, where's Marf? <laughs> Marf ain't here on this board, that's for sure. He ain't in any of these nations. I shouldn't move her yet. I should move this one first. Oh wait, do I have to? Okay. Yeah, we'll put the sea serpent right there. See if you have any skills to buff anyone. Morelvin Parting. Normal attack deals moderate damage to a single adjacent enemy unit. Cheap shot deals moderate damage to a single unit. Has 30% chance of inflicting a feint. An energizing drink decreases your own agility. In exchange, increases the attack and power of your own next skill. Fire. This is on all the trees. Yo, the trees in this game look better than the trees in Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> Then the gamer says, Har is too cool for this game. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> he shows up in Brigadine too. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming to the stream tonight. You guys are amazing. It's Guinea's turn again. That's not a good spot. Right here. That's the better spot. There's like no water on, on this battlefield though. There's barely any. There's only water down here. Like that's it. There's like no water here in a little swamp. Like most of this battlefield's just meadow. I don't think I have many enemies or many, many uh teammates that are good with the meadow, maybe. Oh this this is uh Captain Stella's. I guess she's going in the fort. Oh no, her. We need to keep her in the meadow. Yeah, he can go there. Oh shit. Trying to fight? Alright, we're fighting. We're fighting. Okay. We're fighting. You guys ready? Let's go. We're fighting. Alright, what are we gonna do? We're gonna... Who can I use? Any of the lit ones. So... He prefers the swamp. You should be able to hit him, I think. You know what? Let's, let's move him over here. Actually, 72%. Mm, doesn't seem like a smart play. 
let's see what else we got. Uh, let's let's move him. Flow charge, prism shot. I think we should do a prism shot. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Get out of here. Hey! Shout outs, yo! Shout outs to Fury Tiger for being the 21st 100% member through YouTube and also a starter percenter. Let's go. Welcome to the 100% click as a starter percenter, Fury Tiger. Thank you so much. And we actually just reached 65 total members of the community. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Thank you guys for supporting the channel tonight. Uh, Fury Tiger says, let's go. Four hour stream. Four hour stream? I hope we can make. I don't know if we can do four hours, but I'll, I'll, I'll stream as much as I can. That's definitely for sure. Thank you so much. Seriously, Fury Tiger, for becoming a member of our community. 100% click. 100%. Shout outs. And we reached 65 members, so we completed our goal for a four hour stream. Now, that, that's basically what it is right there, Fury Tiger. So, the, the four-hour stream is a bonus live stream that we're going to do this Friday coming up, Fury Tiger. So, uh, for, for anyone who's... Well, actually, the one that's this Friday is for 60 members. The one after that is for 65. So, this, this Friday coming up is Persona for a Golden. But the next Friday, Fury Tiger, that's the one that's four hours as well. Yes, that's the one, bro. I, I got mistaken. I thought you meant this stream four hours. Uh, but, yeah, the next stream after the upcoming friday that's the bonus stream bro thank you so much for becoming a member of our community the 100 percent click I, I i know we made it to the goal 65 like seriously thank you guys for all the support on the channel thank you fury tiger gunslinger dear wilson nightshade st lou deceptor john r on th3 everyone watching the stream thank you guys so much seriously thank you guys hey let's go so Next Friday, we have Persona for a Golden. Yesterday, we had Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but what do you guys want? Fury Tiger, what would you like to see me play uh, for a four-hour stream? Anyone here watching, tell me what you guys would like for me to see, and then discuss and decide amongst yourselves. Please decide amongst yourselves. I don't want to pick it for you guys. I want you guys to decide, of course, you know what I mean? Because if you guys want to watch it, you guys should be able to pick, you know what I mean? So yeah, everyone who's watching the stream, let me know what you guys want to see me stream for four hours in two weeks. For the 65 member stream uh thank you guys so much for coming through i really appreciate it guys thank you because yesterday we had the 55 member stream and uh next week is the 60 member goal stream so we're going we're doing a lot right now which is awesome i feel like siren's not a good idea let's see Power is up though. But we're gonna take a lot of damage. I, I don't wanna risk that. It's not worth it. Magic Frost. How far does that reach? Oh, you know what? Can we. Oh, you can't move. Oh, yeah, by the way, one thing in this game, you can't move and do magic in the same turn. So, see how I moved and couldn't do magic? Yeah. If Fury Tiger says, I'm gonna miss it, lol. Don't worry, don't worry, Fury Tiger. You can always watch the playback. I, I, don't worry about that, bro. It's all good. The playbacks are always just as fun and hype watching the streams. Uh, we always have a great time. So if you do end up missing it live, it's it's all good. There's always the live recap, bro. And all the streams that we have, I always leave them up because people love enjoying watching them, whether they're watching it live or after the fact or they want to watch it again. So... Don't worry, bro. It's all good, man. And thank you to Seth John, Nightshade, Dear Wilson, Gunslinger for supporting Fury Tiger and uh, his, his support for the channel. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Thank you, all of you. And you know what's funny, Aron? I have a Pokemon-related emote, and you, like, never use it. And I think you would, because, like, it's like... Landers is going, like, Arr, grumpy and shit. <laughs> like, taunted. <laughs> That's basically what that Landers is doing. All right, let's get more gameplay going. Oh, this is a chance to You know what? We're gonna fight him. Screw this. The lizard man's not that strong. We'll do it. 
Good thing I didn't miss. You did 141 damage? Wow, that's a lot of damage. Like, that's a lot of damage. Oh. Get him. We cornered him. You're done. He's doing a lot of damage to me. To be honest, that eagle doing bad damage. This is high risk putting him right there, but I want to take this guy out as quick as possible. Yo, we didn't get a crit. You can get crits in this game. Shout out to the 17 concurrent viewers. Thank you all so much. Fury Tiger says, next weekend, I'll be like a gazillion million miles away from the closest internet connection. I'm going to enjoy every second of it. That's awesome. Yo, taking us like a break or sabbatical from like the internet or even just taking a break from social media in general is the best. Enjoy it, bro. Seriously, Fury Tiger. Uh, enjoy that little vacation, man. And Nightshade with the good old Landers taunt. Yup, the good old Landers grunt taunt. <laughs> Yo, thank you guys for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Yo, I feel like I'm gonna lose some troops next turn. But hey, if it happens, it happens. Oh, I can bring him over here and fight. Let's see how much damage I do. I'm probably gonna lose my character, but... Oh, oh, but his power is up slightly. And my power is at 92, but 95 accuracy. I think we can hit him. Willing to risk it. Let's go. Oof. That hurt a little. What skills have we got? Oh, it's just that stuff. We Energizing drink is increases the attack and power of your own next skill. But we don't do we yeah, you know what? We do want that. We'll do that now. Because next turn we're gonna fight someone with her. But she can't die, I think, at all. Hit an evasion. Alright, good, dope. Yeah, this is a fire elemental mess game, it is. <laughs> it's exactly like that, but it also has elements of risk and it has elements of a bunch of other stuff included. So it's a crazy unique game. Like there's summons, monsters and stuff. Yo, the battle begins now. This is it. This is the moment where the battle begins. We're gonna we're gonna attack with him first. We're gonna do that tail whip and finish him off. Let's go. We took him out. Level up. Let's go. We got the level up, guys. Let's go. Every single character in the game gets a level up and different abilities and stuff that they earn. Oh, we went all the way to level 8. Even better. Even better. Alright. What do we got here? Mountain. Plain. Swamp. Let's let's see if the Siren can do anything to them. I feel like the Siren could do some stuff. Let's see the skills. Aqua Thrust. It's super effective to uh, this guy. But he, he's stronger by a, a landslide. So I think what we should do is not fight those guys with her right now we should actually move her if we can move her not right now next turn next turn we'll, we'll, we'll worry about her next turn uh we'll use we'll use sea serpent now sea serpent skill cold bite oh yeah we're gonna probably uh oh you know what we're gonna take her out i know it says actually lower but 148 attack on her 
critical hit rate's up on him, though. Mm. Yo, you know what? We have to go for him. He has the chains around him. Gotta go for him. You got the extra boost. Ooh. We, 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 we got afflicted with faint? Aw, oh, man. That's, that's whack. Afflicted with faint. This is high risk. Let me see what it looks like if I went over here. That's weird that his per preferred terrain is water. Oh, I can crush her. But my axe is only 58? Yo, shout out to Kevin Valencia. Welcome to the stream. Shout out to the 16 concurrent viewers. Please, if everyone can smash the like button so we hit 20 likes. We're still at 15 likes for tonight's stream. Please help us out and smash 20 likes for us. We've been streaming for over an hour. We're playing the Switch exclusive Brigadine, the Legend of Renercia. And once again, shout out to Fury Tiger for the pledge to the channel, the new membership. Thank you so much. You have a perk package and emotes and Fury Tiger. I'll be sending you the link to our Discord tonight. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Seriously. And y and Kevin says this that game that sponsored you. I wish they sponsored me with how much I've been promoting the game. God damn. No one's been promoting the game in the West. Like, I asked uh, John from Spawn Wave and, and, like, of everyone on the Spawncast who's checked it out. And he said he was considering it. But, like, he was the only one there. Aside from OJ and uh, Stealth tonight. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Shout out to the 17 concurrent viewers. Please help us reach 20 likes. And if you want to help support the channel, hit the donor link and or the member links in the description to support the channel. We have five new videos coming up soon, and we dropped two new videos recently, so there's a ton of new content on the way. <sighs> this is too risky. 52% accuracy. This is one of those games where it's not like Fire Emblem where 52% is like likely. This is a game where 52% is like actually unlikely, so we're not going to do this. That's too risky. I think what we're going to do... We're going to move the siren right here. Use Aqua Thrust. I know I was going to take damage, but I was willing to risk it. Now, here's where we move him over here. And stand by. Ooh. Just went for a magic attack. Alright, what are we going to do next? Uh... I feel like this is a bad idea. No matter which option I choose. Yeah. Lizard man going to get crushed. <laughs> Oh, here's what we're doing. We're moving this guy over here. We're using Prism Shot. We're taking them both out. Some damage. Nice. Now, we're gonna move this Siren right over here. Then we're gonna move him right in the meadow, because I think he's he's good for the meadow. I think this guy, they're both preferred terrains, plain. So yeah, let's see what magic we got. Silent protect increases defense of a single ally unit within a three hex radius. Uh, three hex radius. We don't have enemies in his radius right now, so we're, we're gonna move him. <clears throat> I think we're gonna sack off Lizard Man. We're gonna sack him off, guys. And then the gamer says, are there no subtitles for battle quotes? Uh, no, nah, there, there, there really isn't, but to be honest, it, it, there's, not, there's not really a reason for the subtitles most of the time. It's pretty, pretty no, okay without it. I haven't really, like, thought about it, to be honest. Uh... But yeah, we're gonna go and attack him. He, he's really weak, but we, we gotta go for it. Lizard Man isn't that strong. Yeah, 
you need to take out all of the head guys on the enemy's team as quick as possible to finish the game or to finish the battle. So I said I was going to use her for this turn, so let me see what else I can do first before I do that. Because I want to take out this guy over here. We have Cold Bite. Water Breath. Ooh, that's a four space mo move that never misses. Oh, we can't use that now, though. We're, we'll just do a cold bite. Shout out to the 16 concurrent viewers watching the stream. And yeah, Kevin, it's dope that we got a new member of the stream. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone watching the stream. And thank you, Fury Tiger, for becoming a member of our community. 100% click. I'll send you the link to the Discord and all that good stuff. Uh, thank you, seriously, so much. See how strong he'll be. Yeah, that's good damage. We'll go for it. We missed. That was sixty-two percent accurate. Come on, how do you miss? Like how? How do you miss? This is high risk, but we gotta go for it. We gotta go for it, please. Let's go. I'll take it. Yeah, you missed. Let's go. And you had like 90% accuracy. All right, I think that's everyone else. We, we need to get Morelva in. Yeah, right here. We're gonna take this guy out right now. We got our attack boosted. Let's do moderate damage, but a 30% chance of fate. It's minus 8 accuracy, though. Oh, no. We have to hit him. Look at this. Look at this. You gotta be dead. Let's go. And I afflicted feet. Ah! All right. This is dope. This is dope. All right. Now, we're gonna move to right here. I don't care if my lizard man teammate gets hurt. No, no. We can float charge. We can float charge. No, we have to use the special. We have to use the prism shot. <laughs> All right, sorry, lizard man. Has to be done. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. You will pay for this? Nah, Gilliam. You dead. You dunzos. <laughs> Retreated? Nah, we took him out. We took him out. I, I'm not considering that he actually retreated. We took him out. And oh my, oh my leveled up to level 9. Probably level 10 too, honestly. Yeah, level 10. Let's go. And a new class change is now available. You can change the elemental to red, blue, green, white, or black. Nice. Oh, we, we gained a bunch of levels. <laughs> we gained four levels from that battle. My characters aren't in the best predicament, it looks like. It's 15 of my guys versus 8 of theirs, but not for long. Yeah, not for long. Oof. Damn, that flow charge didn't do shit. Wow, you healed him? You bitch! Arn says I'm back. Did VC lose? Nah, it's 14 to 8 right now. Uh. You got a crit? Come on. Wow. And you inflicted faint. Thanks, Aron. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting so screwed over. Like, so screwed over. Oh, well, now that we're here. We can use the magic I wanted to use, I think. But this is very risky, so... Pretty sure they, they all die. 154, 177. I think I want to take her out. 
Because I don't want her to keep healing. That's what I really don't want. Last thing I want is for that healing to keep happening. Water breath. That does that much damage. Oh no, that's what we want to do. Please don't miss. Yes. Shout out to the 20 concurrent viewers. If you guys can smash the like button if you're enjoying the stream, let's at least hit 20 likes for the stream. We're playing Brigadine, the Legend of Renercia. We'll be continuing the stream till I finish this amazing, epic battle. So if you guys are hyped and have been enjoying the gameplay of this game, it's a brand new Switch exclusive, a strategy JRPG. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, become a member of the community like the dopest Fury Tiger, Nightshade, Dear Wilson, Aron, and many others. Thank you all for coming through. You guys are amazing. Shout out to Indie Gamers, St. Lou, Kevin Valencia, uh, everyone watching the stream. Dead like seven. What's good, bro? Just got here. How's this compared to the demo? You can do so much more. You can do a lot in, in the demo, but you would have to intentionally find ways to extend your time. But it, there's so much you can do in this game. It's great. And I have multiple save files already. So that's awesome. Shout out to you, Deadlock7. Welcome to the stream. And we just hit 20 likes. 100% click in the building tonight. Thank you all so much. And by the way, we are going to raid someone tonight. We're not going to raid any of my videos because my recent video I dropped yesterday did reach over 150 views. You guys are amazing. But uh, I have a new video dropping tomorrow, which is Sunday, and I have a brand new video dropping on Monday. So that's going to be lit. Uh, yeah, let's continue with this gameplay. Because I, I want to take that person out over there. Let's see what attacks we got. Do we have anything long range? We don't. I would have liked the long range attack. We only have one hex radius attacks. Oh, you know what? <sighs> Guess I'll just go over here. This is gonna hurt. I missed anyway! And you got a crit! Wow, that's so bold. Shouts to Grubby K9, welcome to the stream. Spawn raid. Knife Life Media says, yo, 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 what's up, Knife Life? Welcome to the stream. How you been? Grubby K9 said spawn spawn wave raid. Spawn raid. That'd be awesome. And I was I was watching Spawncast earlier. They were having another great episode tonight. Uh Stealth was a guest. Thank you everyone for coming to the stream tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, how have you been tonight, Grubby K9? Shout out to all the current viewers coming to the stream tonight. Shout out to the 21 viewers. We just had 21 likes. Thank you guys for coming through. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's hit with the raging crash. Oh, we missed? Wow, we missed. I can't believe we missed that attack just then. <sighs> we had like 80% accuracy. Damn. Shout out to the 20 concurrent viewers. Smash that like button if you just joined the stream. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And if you are coming from the spawn cast, thank you guys for coming through. I appreciate it. Seriously, thank you guys. And we do live streams and videos all the time. Music, reviews, all kinds of different stuff. So if you enjoy the channel, definitely smash the subscribe button. And help us reach 1,300 subscribers. We also have a giveaway for a copy of A Way Out, and we're going to be doing some giveaways of Paper Mario in the month of July. So I hope you guys are hyped for that. We're doing multiple giveaways for that. Thank you to everyone watching the stream tonight. 22 concurrent viewers. Thank you guys so much. We're playing Brigadine, the Legend of Renercia on the Switch. Shout out to Juice Man Vaughn. Welcome to the stream, bro. How you been, man? Uh, we've been pretty busy with this game. So it's been a lot of fun. It's, it's been great, honestly. I've been enjoying it. We're currently in the attack phase right now, invading a person's nation. So we're gonna use the, the float charge again. Oh no, we can't do that. We're gonna actually move him. Oh yeah, we can't use any of these attacks from where we're at, so. We're just gonna stand by. Now we're gonna use magic. Protect. We're gonna protect uh, our captain. <laughs> and yeah, for everyone who's watching, we're playing Brigadine the Legend of Renesia, a super dope strategy RPG exclusive to the Switch. JRPG to be exact, it's only Japanese dub. And, Night and Nightshade, Knife Life, Grubby K9, Deadlock7, Dear Wilson, St. Lou. Everyone watching the stream, everyone, thank you guys so much for coming through. 
And uh, that's dope you're editing tomorrow's podcast episode, Knife Life. I can't wait to watch it, man. Thank you guys for coming through. I'm glad you guys are here and having a great time. Seriously, thank you guys for enjoying the stream. And there's 20 of you here. Can we hit 25 likes before the stream ends? That'd be lit. Yeah, this is the part where everything changes. Because my whole team's like half health almost, it seems like. So anything can happen right now. I really need to take out this person. I need to take them out. Good, I can reach them. They're done. Let's go! Yeah! Thank you, St. Lou, for the fire emotes and the GG emotes. I appreciate that, bro. Seriously. Aisha, this is it for me. Damn. She, she's done, too. Hey, level 11. Diana, level 11. Nice. Now, all we have left is this person to take out, uh, who's the main healer for their team, Titania. So, as long as we take out Titania, we're good. Wait, what skills? I don't think you have long range skills. Oh no, you get an Aqua Splash, but my own, my own guy's in front of him. I really. Yeah, it's not worth it. I don't think it's worth it to go for it. That that that's a hundred that's down to hundred and ten points of damage. I'm not sure if I'm willing to hit my own character for that. It's not worth it. We'll move him. Over here. Hold on. Oh, we actually have a little boost, it seems like. So let's go for it. Sixty-nine points. <laughs> Sixty-nine. Hundred and seven? Wow. Alright. Oh, you know what? We're gonna move right here. Now we're gonna take him out. Oh no. We're gonna put damage on him. Oh no, I can move him before then. Alright, hold on. We'll do that first. We're gonna move him over here. And we're gonna big claw this guy. Let's go. 104 damage. Nice. Alright, good. Now we can. Ooh, level up. Nice. Awesome. We're gonna go and move. This person over here. Now we can use the prism shot on this person. Let's go. We're putting that damage on him. Shout out to the 20 concurrent viewers. If you guys enjoy the stream, get some dono hype going, member hype going, sub hype going, like hype going. We've been streaming for over about an hour and a half. You guys are amazing. Thank you all for coming through tonight. We've been playing a lot of Brigadine Legend Renercia, and tomorrow I have a new video releasing, and then Monday we have another new video releasing, and a stream for about three hours playing Smash Bros. Ultimate with Min Min and all of you tonight, well, that night, and then we have a lot more coming up. We're going back to the regularly scheduled programming with the streams. Uh, Tuesday, we're playing Splatoon 2 on Tuesday. We are going back to Splatoon 2 on Tuesday, so make sure you guys are ready and hyped for that. Thank you guys for coming to the channel for all the videos, live streams, and more. I really appreciate it, guys. Oh, we can... Yo, you know what? We're gonna move him over here. We're gonna put even more damage on this person. Oh, yeah, we're done. We beat this. Let's go. Nah, you're done. And Auron said I was gonna get bopped. I only lost one summon. I only lost one summon the whole time. One summon. Oh, wait, wait. What magic do I got? I, I never see my magic. Spell break. Oh, no, no actual attacks. Let's go, let's finish this. Yeah! Take him out! And we got the crit! Ah! Brigadine, the legend of Runercia. We have just taken over some of their region. Let's go, and one John with the Splatoon hype. Hell yeah, we haven't played Splatoon in like three weeks, so we definitely need to play some. And Troy says, put a shirt on, you're scaring the females away, noodle arm gang. Hey, there's, I don't got noodle arms, bruh. You, you, you tripping. 
<laughs> tripping, tripping. But we level 16 now. Let's go. Let's go. Brigadine, the legend of Nersia in the building. What a dope game. What a dope match just then. Oh. The, their, their character failed to escape. So now it's ours. Nice. We did it. Victory! Let's get those GG's in the chat. Throw those GG's in the chat if you're a member of the community. Yeah, Nightshade, we got the big crit. Yo, the big crit. Let's go. Hey, Nightshade with the skinny gang. Hey, hey, I, I ain't as skinny as you guys make it out to be. I actually have really broad shoulders. Like, come on. Chill. Chill. <laughs> and yet, uh, Juice Man Vaughn, I highly recommend you check out the demo for this game. I definitely recommend it. And honestly, Juice Man Vaughn, the, the, there's six routes in this game. There's more routes in this game than there is in Fire and Three Houses. And in regards of gameplay time, I think this game has more time in it than Fire and Three Houses does. So, I think for the price of 50, I can understand why someone could say it's steep. Especially since there is an English dub too. However, for me, combat is, is great. Uh, the story elements that each route does have though is also pretty cool. And in between sections of the game, like when you're in organization phases and moving to different towns and stuff, you can also find new recruits. While simultaneously, you can spend time for your characters to go on quests throughout the game. And there's a lot you can do. A ton. And then next you have to shout out to Big Crit, though. Hey, yeah, shout out Big Crit. Dope rapper, man. Thank you, everyone, for the GGs. St. Lou, Dior, Nightshade. Thank you all so much. And we're also one like away from 25 likes. And we just captured their en their enemy on our team. Now he's ours. Let's go. Let's go. How to revive summons. Revive summons can be performed at any base. Press the X button to see a list of defeated monsters. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can revive beasts that die. So that's cool. Or you can find new ones and, s and create brand new ones. That's possible. You can create new summons, too. Choices. Could be worse. I want to get the ring fit adventure, but don't want to get my ego shattered if I can't fit the leg strap around my leg. Bruh, that'd be wild. Yo, so we captured that one person's uh, character, the, the snake, and then we took out the, the defender's main guy. So we didn't actually kill them, but they're definitely fatally wounded from what it looks like. We occupied the Stillis quest results let's go for all those people that did quests hey nice and they, he got the blue robe pluto got the spider silk robe and the training grounds went good for all of them great perfect oh my controller Hey, let's go. Troy says, how does this stream have two likes, two dislikes? Where do I buy but need a body slam? <laughs> yeah, the two dislikes are from haters. No problem. Max proficiency tier reached. You can now carry over your magic and certain skills after a class change. Nice. Glad we got that. Shout out to Troy Perry, St. Lou, Ryan Ricardo, Gunslinger. Uh, thank you guys as well as Nightshade, Deer Wilson, One Up John, Juice Man Vaughn, and R on TH3. Everyone watching the stream tonight, thank you all for coming through and enjoying the amazing gameplay of the strategy JRPG Brigandine, the Legend of Renercia, which has six or more routes to play in, guys. Like, that's a lot of routes you can do. There's tons of ways to play the game, tons of different difficulty settings, and you can play this multiple times and encounter new stuff. It's one of those long games where there's a lot to do in it. Kind of like Xenoblade and Fire Emblem Three Houses. There's a lot in this game, guys. Definitely shouldn't be understated. Nice, she says, Xeno, here we come. Oh, you? You're playing some Xeno right now? <laughs> one of John's that smile. <laughs> the smile face. Ooh, a new knight has been recruited. Let's go. Who do we meet? Who's the See, I just mentioned you meet people in the game. When people are on quests and stuff. So, our character Tommy became the unknowing target of a pickpocket. What was most surprising, however, was that when confronted, the pickpocket exhibited abilities of a rune knight. After a difficult fight, Tommy eventually succeeded in subduing the... Oh! We've seen this guy. We, 
we actually found this guy in my other playthrough when I played the demo. His name is Hughes. That's pretty cool. So he's gonna be on our squad for us too here. Nice. He's a, he's a pickpocket. Kind of like a Therion from uh, Octopath Traveler. Shout out to the 25 concurrent viewers. My name is VCT Sips. We're live streaming the exclusive Switch game, bringing Dean the Legend of Nersia. If you enjoy the stream, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and make sure you hit the join button next to the subscribe button or the Patreon or YouTube membership links in the description to support the channel or the donation link that's there as well. It would really help us out, seriously. Thank you guys for enjoying the content of the channel. We have tons of new videos on the way. I dropped two new videos this past week, and we have a new video on Sunday and Monday, and then we have a video on Wednesday and Friday. I'm just going to mention the Future Connected review. It's supposed to be on Wednesday, but if not, I do have another video already planned for that day if I can't get that review ready. So I'll just let y'all know that. So thank you guys for enjoying the content so far. I really appreciate it, guys. <laughs> Yeah, it's either you join us or you die. <laughs> what do you think you want? Go ahead and put me to work or whatever. Alright, bitch. You're on our squad now. You're a pirate. <laughs> Welcome to the life of a pirate, Hughes. Hey, now we got him on our squad. Alrighty. Now, I believe here is the best time as any to get some more organizing done or wait hold on what's this this is zero parentheses two what does that mean zero parentheses two base info oh they're there but they're dead so we're gonna go there how about that how about that can we do that i think it's possible let's organize troops first let's see what we got going on we have uh him in standby Cl changing units class we, we don't have to change anyone right now we really don't can I change this class? Is that possible? We have thief type, fighter type, barbarian type. We're gonna leave him as thief type. He's obviously what he's supposed to be. He's also level four, so I can't really do much of him anyway. Ooh, all right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh no, no we, we need to go to equipment. Oh, I need to press stats. Oh, there's only the light sword. I thought there was extra items. Oh, there's a second command helm. That's cool. Let's see if we can give that to someone. Yeah. Oh, there's also steel mail and fine mail as well. But the, the HP lowers though. I don't think that's a big deal, right? Should be fine. Yeah, we're gonna give him the fine mail. Mm, I'm not sure if we wanna give it to him. Christian says audio is working now. Uh, Christian, the audio always works. It's just that the stream usually crashes whenever I do have game audio going. Right now, it hasn't crashed, which is great, but. Yeah, Christian, normally the audio does work. It's not that the audio doesn't work whenever I stream. The problem is that the stream crashes, bro. I don't know why you may not understand this. I, I did mention this a lot of times to you. But uh, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream, though, man. I hope you've been having a good night tonight. What have you been up to, bro? What have you been up to, Christian? Shouts to the 23 concurrent viewers. Shouts to Nightshade, one of John, Christian Kanani, Troy Perry, St. Luke, Gunslinger, Ryan Ricardo, D.R. Wilson. Everyone watching the stream, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. We just had an awesome battle just now. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We're actually going to not use that command item. But I hope you've been doing good, Christian. It's great to see you, man. Oh, he's got the level up. I think. Let me see. Oh, I can give him uh, something, maybe. Or nothing. He doesn't have anything. All right. Alright. 
I don't know why it says up for. I need. I, I don't remember why that, that. I don't remember what that's for. Where it says up. That's weird. I have to look that up. Chris says I'm doing some modeling. I post some pictures. You posted some new pictures. Nice, nice, bro. I'll definitely look them up after the stream, bro. I'll check it out. Also, he has a class up. That's what it is. Okay. So you could, I could change the class from the light class or to a different one, whether fire, uh, water, uh, wind. I, I'm not sure what white is. I assume it's healing. Because I'm a light class now, I think. I'm not sure, actually. What, what class am I? I think I'm just an elemental in general. So you know what? Maybe I have to do a level up. Well, hmm. I don't know which one I want to go for. They all have the same stat boost. It's just what type I want. I don't know what type I want. I think we'll go for the for the, for the green. Troops magic cost exceeded. Please recognize your troop. After changing the green elemental, this unit cannot change back to uh, cannot change to other elemental types. All right. Hey, let's go. And see, now we're, we're two points off. Mm. That's actually not good. Ugh. I'm not sure how we're going to fix that. We're going to have to figure that out. But we're four likes away from 30 likes. We'll be wrapping up stream in like 10 minutes. Maybe less. I'm not sure. It depends on whenever I get this fixed. Because I need to figure this out now. So shout outs. Thank you guys for coming to the stream. I really appreciate it. I need to get their magic pools boosted. That's what it is. Their magic pool is too short. I need to find a way to level those up. And for every character, they have a giant bio and everything. Hey, she's my age. Nice. Cool. Shout out to everyone watching the stream tonight. You guys are awesome. If you guys have been enjoying the stream, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the links in the description to help support the channel, whether you want to donate or be a member, any of that stuff. It'd be awesome. Thank you guys for supporting the channel already. You guys are awesome. Lots of new content is coming up soon. But yeah, I, I, I probably should have thought about that before doing that. Maybe I should switch. Yeah, you know what? That's what I should do. That's what I should do. Perfect. Okay. So I just switched them around. Okay. So for now, uh, automa automaton um Umimaru will hold my giant snake. He already. Had, this person already has six of them. They, they might as well stay there. Wait a second. Why, why, why is he lower? Why is this guy lower? I'm not sure. That's weird. That's really weird. I don't know. Usually, they... I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> but thank you to the 22 concurrent viewers. We'll be wrapping up in a bit. I think we got that all settled, so... I think here is the best places ever to save the game. And this save file... Uh, I'm gonna probably be using it whenever I stream Brigadine, but I'm not sure how often we're gonna stream this game. I'm not personally sure yet. It depends on if you guys want to see more of it, of course. So, hey, for all I know, I may end up playing a few turns every now and then in this. For all I know, for for this extra play file. But uh, we just saved the game. So I let me I, let me double save. I always double save. Yeah, always good to double save. Thank you guys for coming to tonight's stream. I really appreciate it, yo. And I'm very grateful my PC didn't explode. Very grateful for that as well. But we're gonna go raid someone. Uh, I'm not sure who we're gonna raid. We're gonna check. And shout out to the 22 concurrent viewers watching the stream tonight. I really appreciate every single one of you being here. Who is live? Uh, 
yo, how about this? One of our friends, 100% click member, DJ King, is streaming right now. If we can go over to his stream, that would mean a lot. He's a member of the community of the 100% click. Let's go over there and raid his channel. He's playing Super Smash Bros. right now. So let's go check him out, guys. And uh, Juice Van says, what makes you interested in this game? The JRPG aspect is dope. The ability to summon different beasts and create new ones. The way it's like the video game risk or the board game risk and you capture regions and nations and like the video game, like it's all that kind of stuff combined together. It's sick. I love it. And it's also Japanese dub only. But yes, if you guys can help us out and please raid the bro DJ King, it would mean a lot because he, he just started streaming and like it would really mean a lot if you guys can help raid him. Please, if everyone can raid DJ King stream right now, check him out. He's playing Super Smash Bros. right now. So definitely check him out. And also, when you go check out his stream, smash the like button on his stream. If you guys can smash the like button on his stream, I appreciate it. Uh, Gunslinger, he streams on YouTube. Uh, he streams on YouTube and Twitch now. It usually was just YouTube, but he has restreamed now for Twitch. Shout out to the 21 concurrent viewers, 26 likes. Thank you all so much. And please raid my bro, DJ King. And say the 100% click raid. You gotta say 100% click raid. I hope you guys never forget that. <laughs> That's like the main thing. If we ever raid someone, gotta say 100% click raid. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all for tomorrow's video and the Monday night stream and Monday's video as well. Peace.